All right, it's been two weeks of predictions and trash talking, but could this game be one of biblical proportions? Think about it. We set NBC10's Matt DeLucia to find out. Everyone's wondering what's going to happen on Sunday, Eagles or the Chiefs? We've heard plenty from the pigskin prognosticators, sports radio, the betting lines, and every expert on social media. But just maybe, I found the answer. It's behind these doors in the Torah. It was written thousands of years ago, but it still speaks to us today. And especially this weekend, when Shabbat services around the world will feature two big names. In Exodus 18, we find uh, the word chiefs quite a few times. And then the immediate chapter right after in Exodus 19, we find eagles. Rabbi Eli Friedman at Congregation Road of Shalom noticed the pairing earlier this week. This is the only place in Torah where the two eagles and chiefs appear in the same section. In the text, Moses is told to set up a system of chiefs to lead the people. In the next chapter, God tells Moses to tell the Israelites, the etchem al kanfei nisharim the avo etchem, and how I brought you to me on eagle's wings. Divine messages or a quirky coincidence? Well, the prayer requests keep coming, as they did a few weeks ago before the Eagles-Giants game. I'm not kidding. This is in the Torah. <laughs> Have no fear of the Giants, for they are our prey. Talking about how we devoured the Giants and then kept on rolling. And we did. And we did. And a scholar of the faith, he's known to read into things. The chiefs are mentioned in chapter 18. Mm -hmm. The eagles are mentioned in chapter 19. So I think that's the score. 18 to 19. <laughs> so eagles win. How synagogues in Kansas City interpret the text, it might be a little different. But either way, it's a win with a bet between congregations. When, of course, the Eagles win, they will be donating to a wonderful organization, Philly Youth Basketball, and in, in the you know, very offhand chance that, that Kansas City should win, uh, we'll be donating to a diaper bank there in Kansas City. Until then, they'll sport the green and exit this weekend's services with another timely translation. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles! Perfection. Erin Coleman, this is an all, all right, Matt event, okay? <laughs> At, look, we're getting signs from everywhere, and we will take it. I love that story so much, Lucy. Back to you. That was awesome. So much fun.